Rick Grimes has almost been synonymous with the Walking Dead franchise, and he's become a fan favorite over the years as one of the primary protagonists of the series. After emerging as a survivor in the aftermath of the zombie outbreak, his character has developed leaps and bounds since then. He has assumed leadership roles and shown exemplary courage and the ability to make sacrifices when it matters the most. That being said, Rick has sometimes ended up being more of a tragic hero who continues to fight his own battles and emotions that stem from all of his personal losses. With the character being brought back in The Walking Dead, The Ones Who Live, one cannot help but wonder if the show would finally kill him off. And in this video, we will discuss the probable reasons behind such an ending for Rick. But before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you. Let's begin. Sorry. Rick's death could mean the perfect ending. You might be elated like many other hardened fans of the franchise at how The Ones Who Lived has reunited the long-lost lovers in Rick and Michonne. However, you need to hold your horses and dreams of a conventional happy ending, and remember that this is a post-apocalyptic drama and not a romantic comedy. Time and time again, the Walking Dead franchise has tried to focus on the possibility of humanity emerging from the deadliest losses, and Rick's death would be a notable loss for sure. It would also shape the perfect end to his character, who has struggled with so many personal losses in the series. From his wife to his best of friends, the man has sacrificed an insane amount to reach where he is. And at this point, Rick is merely a duty-bound broken man, searching for a purpose. The betterment of the surviving human race remains his objective even now. But there have been instances that highlight how important his family is to him. The man has lived without his family for years, and even after the arrival of Michonne, it's clear that escaping together might not have the best of consequences for them. If Rick was to die, possibly by sacrificing himself for a greater cause or to save the love of his life, it would be a beautifully tragic end that a character like him deserves. This heartbreaking moment would immortalize his position in the franchise, and it would serve as a legacy to maintain for future characters in the series. The man has experienced way too many near-death experiences and lived through too much trauma, and his agonies might just get a peaceful end while signing off. It may not sound like the ending we deserve, but it might be the ending we need. Do it. Please. Rick Grimes dies in the original comic books. This might come as a shocker for those who aren't familiar with the original source material behind all the shows in the Walking Dead franchise. In the comic books, Rick Grimes is shot to death by Sebastian Milton, the son of the leader of the Commonwealth. However, before he dies, he plays a key role in reforming the Commonwealth, which is a large network of communities. Now the TV shows don't exactly mirror the comic books, and there have been several changes introduced in the franchise, but this being such a major and decisive event might just be retained, and The Ones Who Live allows the perfect opportunity for the same. In the live-action adaptation, Sebastian has been long dead, but that doesn't mean that Rick wouldn't face his pre-designed fate. We believe that his stint with the CRM, or the Civic Republic military, is far from over in The Ones Who Live, and he might go on to work on making the organization a more ethical force. Unlike his work with the Commonwealth in the comic books, it's going to be some other cause that Rick fights for and gets killed in the process. Working on reshaping the CRM or any other notable purpose that Rick might have in the series could mean that he would have to die for his intentions or actions. Knowing how the character of Rick has developed over the years, this doesn't seem unlikely at all. I found him. The Walking Dead franchise doesn't shy away from major character deaths. Maybe it adds to the charm of the popular show when no one in the narrative is indispensable. We've seen the biggest shows like Game of Thrones kill off major characters in the most unexpected moments, and The Walking Dead has walked on similar routes all this while. The series has always focused on passing on the message that the human society is resilient enough to carry on against all odds and too many important characters have been killed off in the process. Rick Grimes is probably the last of the survivors if you count the earliest characters introduced in the franchise, and it might be his turn to hang up his boots. The Ones Who Live might just explore the character rising from his lowest moments to do something gallant for the greater good of humanity, even if it is at the cost of his life. Going by the general theme of the franchise and how things have been set up for Rick, it suddenly doesn't seem unlikely at all that he would be killed off by the end of the series. <laughs> I'm <laughs> 
The show was designed to wrap up Rick and Michonne's story arc. The Walking Dead, The Ones Who Live, was originally designed to be the first feature-length movie of the franchise, but it was ultimately transitioned to a six-part series. The idea behind this spin-off project was to offer closure to the cliffhanger ending in The Walking Dead. The fans would have loved to know what finally happens to Rick and Michonne, and the new release series looks to give them the answers. Now, if you assume that the story is short and crisp, which is evident from the way that the episodes have turned out so far, there can be a decisive ending to shut things down. The showrunner of The Ones Who Live, Scott Gimple, has suggested that there can be a second season, but he also floated the possibility that Rick Grimes could die in the last episode. In his own words, anything is possible. Even if Rick dies in the last episode, anything is possible. Of course, he couldn't give away the ending of such a thrilling series, but his words have been interpreted by the fans as a hint of what is about to come. Rick's death in the series finale could also allow the makers an opportunity to make a fresh start in the next season, introducing new characters and new scenarios. Andrew Lincoln may not be willing to reprise the role. We cannot imagine someone better suited than Andrew Lincoln to play the complex character of Rick Grimes in the series. Over the years, he's effectively captured the right emotions and passion while dealing with the struggles of the character. But everything comes with an expiry date. It was reported that Andrew Lincoln felt saturated with the role, which is one of the main reasons that Rick Grimes was killed off in the ninth season of The Walking Dead. The constant work in the long-running series meant that Andrew Lincoln was unable to spend quality time with his family back in the UK and he was willing to let it end after being under the skin of the character for so long. It was a pleasant surprise when he agreed to reprise his role for The Walking Dead, The Ones Who Live, and so far, his story arc has continued with renewed vigor. That being said, it's quite likely that the actor wouldn't want to continue this series like he did previously. During an interview for the newly released series, the actor joked about him dying in the final episode, and we're wondering if this was a joke at all, or just a slip of the tongue. Realistically, he isn't getting any younger, and a closure to his character would finally mean some reprieve from his Rick Grimes duties. This can end up being a decisive factor in killing off the character and ending Andrew Lincoln's long stint in playing the role. Does Okafor drop a key hint about Rick's fate? The Walking Dead, The Ones Who Live, has its narrative focused on the CRM and how Rick is working alongside this authoritative force. One of the key characters in this series is that of Okafor, who's keen to bring Rick into the CRM despite Rick's repeated attempts to escape. He tries to convince Rick about the necessity to introduce certain changes in the organization, and he reasons with Rick how he could rise through the ranks to be capable of making these changes. During Okafor's analysis of Rick, he categorizes him as a Category A survivor who would willingly die for their cause, although the CRM prefers to bring in Category B survivors who are docile and simply happy to be alive. Rick Grimes is among the former. This could be a clue for viewers to understand Rick's fate going ahead. It's clear that he cannot be easily manipulated or brainwashed by the organization for make-believe causes, and he is an individual who's willing to make the most extreme sacrifices for the greater good. He could easily give up his life for his loved ones or innocent communities, and the show might end up on a similar note. Shit. Since I've learned what I've learned. Marvelous verdict. Rick's death is only acceptable if it's done right. You either die a hero or you live long enough to become a villain. Rick has been such a pivotal component of the Walking Dead franchise that there have been various shades to his character. Many of his actions have been questionable, and there have been times when he briefly ceased being the hero he was set to become. A gallant death, while possibly saving many others and ensuring a better future, could be the best way to go for an influential character. And if the ones who live indeed kills him off, we hope they do it right. Do let us know in the comments about your general thoughts on the potential fate of this character, and also tell us what you think of the new Walking Dead spinoff series in general. And if you liked our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one and be safe. Thanks everyone!